Hello, uh, my name is Nicholas Wagaspak. I use he, they pronouns. Um, today I'll be presenting my research and subsequent book, uh, Wonder Type Vucare, which covers um, handcrafted vernacular lettering that I found throughout the French Quarter in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, so I'll start off with a little bit about me. Um, I graduated 11 days ago from Nova Southeastern University uh, with a Bachelor of Arts in Art and Design, concentrating in studio art with a double minor in graphic design and business. Um, I was recently accepted into the Master of Fine Arts in Printmaking program at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, so I'll be starting there in August. Um, here you can see um, me presenting my book at the juried exhibition at my university, uh, which was juried by Say Adams, and I placed first. Um, and then the photo on the left is of my senior thesis presentation. Um, so I'm primarily a visual artist. Um, I use my artwork to process uh, literal and metaphorical battles that I've faced in my life and that I currently face as a queer individual. Um, I do these to explore my culture and identity. Um, I chose to showcase these two pieces because I use type in them. Um, the one on the right um, is handwritten type um, to convey sort of a more emotional, personal feeling. And then the one on the left is a more generic blocky type um, to represent kind of a generic um, feeling to encompass like an entire community. Um, so what brings me here today is the Wonder Type Project, which was started by Dr. Miriam Ahmed um, to highlight underrepresented typography. Um, so the project basically um, allows the students to emphasize type that they th think needs to be um, highlighted more uh, within type scholarship. Um, so these um, projects, there's 16 of them currently on the website. You can go to wondertypeproject.com to see some more of the other projects. Um, they cover places from Puerto Rico to Colombia to Japan to Ireland and New Zealand. Um, so it covers a very wide range of areas. Um, my project specifically, uh, Wonder Type Vucare, covers the Vucare or French Quarter in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, I decided after presenting the project in class, along with Dr. Ahmed, that I would go further and publish my book. So I have the book published in hardcover as well as paperback versions. Um, the cover is made um, with cutouts from different type specimens that I found that I then drew and painted in watercolor. Um, for those of you who do not know, New Orleans is located at the red dot. Um, it's south in the United States. Um, in 1803, the United States purchased the Louisiana Territory from France. Um, so there's a lot of French influence in Louisiana and New Orleans as a whole. Um, so I was very excited to find out that um, A Type I was presenting in Paris this year. Um, Today, New Orleans is known as a melting pot of many cultures. Um, there's influences from French, Spanish, African, and Caribbean cultures. Um, it's known for its wonderful food, um, its welcoming people, its party culture, and for its beauty. And hopefully through my book, it'll be known for its wonderful type. Um, so the basic layout of my book is shown here. There is a photo in the spread along with um, analysis of the type that I use um, Louisiana, uh, sp specifically using like Louisiana um, culture and stuff to analyze the type. I also have the address of where the photo was taken so that if you were ever in New Orleans, you could theoretically go and find the type. Um, there's also Louisiana terms and Cajun French terms. Um, some of the terms I will say throughout my presentation won't sound correct to French speakers, uh, because Cajun French is pronounced, pronounced a little bit differently um, than typical French. And then some of my uh, spreads also have watercolor paintings that I created for the book. So these are some examples of the watercolor paintings that I created. Um, they're just quick watercolor studies. I was really um, wanting to highlight some of the culture and the beauty of New Orleans, and I wanted to use my own... Um, personal skills as a visual artist to um, include it into my book. 
Um, so we have music and food. Um, I copied some of the letters to include throughout my book as well. Um, and then now I'll cover some of my favorite spreads throughout the book. Um, there's 26 spreads in total, but I'll cover some of my favorites. So this is a photo of the Bourbon Pub and Parade Disco, which is a bar that's located on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. I was really drawn by the ornate swashes and flares of the type, and it really reminded me of Mardi Gras, um, the Mardi Gras season in Louisiana, um, and the uh, ornate floats and the Mardi Gras beads. So that's why I chose to um, depict some Mardi Gras beads. And then I put les et le bon temps roulé, which means uh, let the good times roll, and it's a very popular term that we use throughout the Mardi Gras season. Um, the next type is also a, a sign from a bar on Bourbon Street. Um, people in Louisiana really like to drink, so there's lots of signs from bars in my book. Um, I was really drawn by the two A's in this sign. Um, they're very similar, but if you look more closely, one of them's a little more stretched, the other one's a little more compressed, and I think that showed um, kind of the handmade atmosphere, like the handmade aspect of the sign. Um, and I paired it with the term Fat Tuesday, which is the English translation for Mardi Gras. Um, so that's a very popular thing. Um, Louisiana and New Orleans is very well known for the Mardi Gras festivities. Um, these next two photos are pictures of the steps that lead down to the Mississippi River. Um, so I was really drawn by specifically the skull in life and the heart in love and the symbols used in some of the um, words. Um, so it's as you walk down to the Mississippi River, these steps are covered in graffiti. So I chose to pair it with the word buku, which just means a lot. Um, and I think it blends well with the graffiti being very chaotic and hectic on the stairs, kind of overlapping one another. Um, the next spread features um, Lloyd and Janet carved into some concrete. Um, and this reminded me of when I was younger and I would carve my name in the concrete at my grandfather's house. Um, so I paired this with the word sha, which is like a Cajun term of endearment that originate uh, derived from the French term share, which means dear. Um, so I really liked the how spontaneous this must have been uh, for both Lloyd and Janet, and how they probably didn't plan. Um, they probably just saw the wet concrete and was like, oh, let me do that. So I really hope that Lloyd and Janet might still be together and they still have their love for each other. So I paired that with a heart. Um, this next. Um, photo is from an oculate goods, so Esoterica Oculate Goods, which is a witchcraft store uh, found in the French Quarter. Um, when I was here, I was really drawn by all of the hand-drawn type. Um, so Lady Mamie Lenceau, uh runs the shop, and she, she um, handwrites all of the tags and all of the labels for all of the different things that she sells. Um, so I paired this with the term gumbo yaya, which kind of just means everything's happening all at once, lots of people are talking. Um, and I think this really spoke to the variety of type that she had within her store that she all personally did herself. Um, and I honestly probably could write a book just on her one store because it was completely filled with type. Um, and she was very curious why I was in her store taking pictures of all of her labels. Um, and she was very excited to know that I would be using the photographs um, in my book. Um, this next um, type sample is some um, type above a doorway, kind of hidden away. I was really drawn to the weight, how the weight shifted in the type and how it alluded to brush strokes. Um, so I paired it with a painter who's painting. Um, it's very common in the French Quarter to have artists on the streets painting and stuff. Um, so I paired this with Joie de Vivre which um, means like living life to the fullest. Um, and I really find it inspiring to have all of these artists um, out and about like living their life. The next sign is another sign from Bourbon Street uh, from Marie Laveau's House of Voodoo. Um, I was really drawn by the word voodoo specifically. Um, I like the organic nature of the letters and I think that alludes really well to the religion of voodoo, which is very much based on 
um, connection to nature and ancestry. Um, so I paired this with the term Marie Laveau, who's known as the um, voodoo queen of New Orleans. So she was a very popular um, voodoo priestess. Um, her grave is also in New Orleans, and it's a very popular tourist attraction. Um, people will mark three X's on the grave for good luck. So if you're a big fan of the letter X, I suggest visiting her grave because you'll see lots of cool X's. Um, and then lastly, I have this spread, which features multiple different photos of um, street names that are embedded into the concrete. Um, these were embedded into the concrete uh, because horse-drawn carriages would hit poles, so they would go over these. Um, and I was really drawn to how dirty they would look um, and it, it kind of reminded me of like the ones that are cracked and it's kind of like the, um, the old way of typography is kind of diminishing and we're coming in with all of the new things that are included in my book. Um, so that's why I chose to have th these samples in my book. Um, and thank you for wandering with me. Um, you can follow me on Instagram here as well as my website. Uh, my book, Wander Type Bukare, is available on Amazon, and I also have some copies here today if you would like to purchase. Um, and now I'll take questions. Okay, so thank you for this travel through New Orleans. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free. <laughs> <laughs>